We begin with the Labor Day travel rush in full swing. Americans are packing the nation's airports and hitting the road to mark, I know, the unofficial end of summer. More than 148 million Americans will leave home, according to one survey, making this one of the busiest travel weekends of the year. While most Americans will be driving, the TSA said it expects more than 14 million flyers through Tuesday. AAA says today will be one of the worst days to get behind the wheel because it will be one of the busiest. The best day to drive? Well, that'll be Sunday with little or no traffic expected. AAA also says the most popular destinations are Seattle, Orlando, Anchorage, New York City, and Las Vegas. We have a lot of news to get to tonight, and CBS's Chris Van Cleve will start us off from Los Angeles International Airport. Chris, good evening. Major, it's already been the busiest summer travel season on record, and the TSA expects to get an 11 percent bump this Labor Day compared to last year. People flying today are finding very few cancellations, but some weather-related delays, and there was some high-flying drama overseas. Scary moments on Delta Flight 79 bound for New York today, moments after taking off from Prague. Delta 7 Niner emergency aircraft uh, engine fail. We'll uh, call you back. We'd like straight out. You can see black smoke pouring from one of the engines on the Boeing 767 with 208 passengers on board. The flight landed safely. Closer to home, Labor Day weekend traffic was building early in Los Angeles, and flyers found crowds at LAX. AAA says international bookings are up 44% over last year. Brianna Williams is heading to Mexico. How excited are you about Cancun? Uh, we're excited because we definitely need a vacation. Fares to Europe are averaging about $1,130. That's higher than pre-pandemic. But domestic flights are 11% cheaper than last year, according to airfare tracker Hopper. For Labor Day weekend, travelers are getting the best value for their dollar, headed to bigger cities like New York City, Las Vegas, and Miami. Jessica Oliver and her three little kids are heading to Maui for her husband's birthday. The island has been losing millions of tourism dollars since the deadly fires. We decided to support the economy there, and so we're going for my husband's 40th. Some 57 percent of Americans say they'll be traveling for Labor Day. Most will drive and are finding gas prices about the same as last year, averaging around 382 a gallon. Scott and Brittany Clayton are driving to their honeymoon. First time being married, I think we're just whatever the expense is, we'll just we'll just pay it. So. AAA thinks part of what's driving this record travel is people's desire to make up for trips they didn't take during the pandemic and flexible work situations that allow people to more easily stretch a three-day weekend into four or five days. Major? Chris Van Cleve, thank you so much.